Increasing the time your child spends reading can have a dramatic impact on your child's reading achievement. At school, teachers are dedicating increasing amounts of time for students to read. You can support this effort to increase the time your child spends reading by establishing time for reading at home. Like anything that's a part of your daily schedule, it's more likely to happen if there's a planned, consistent routine. This video program suggests five essential elements for establishing reading routines at home. They are time, space, books, choice, and talk. Time is the first essential element. It's important to support your child by making time in your child's daily life for reading. For kindergartners, that might mean setting aside five to 10 minutes every day. This time can be increased as students build stamina for reading. Set realistic goals for how much time will be spent reading. A realistic goal will build stamina in small increments without discouraging interest in reading. Be consistent with your reading schedule. Ideally, the time for reading would be the same every day. Consider right after school, right after snack, or right after dinner as a regular time for reading. Make a schedule and stick to it. Consider making daily time for reading a family commitment. Encourage all members of the family to join in and read. This is a great way to provide support for young readers by modeling your own reading habits. The second essential element is space. It's important to identify a comfortable space for reading that is well lit and free from distractions. Young children may prefer to read sprawled out on the floor with a cushion or curled up on the couch. Allowing your child to have some say in the space they choose for reading will increase buy-in. Texts are the third essential element. Picture books, chapter books, informational texts, collections of poetry and magazines are all possibilities for texts to read. Texts can be borrowed at the school or public library, as well as purchased through classroom book orders or bookstores. Having books and texts on hand will increase the engagement and interest in reading at home. The fourth element is choice. Your child should play a big role in deciding what he or she will read. According to reading expert Richard Allington, students read more, understand more, and are more likely to continue reading when they have the opportunity to choose what they want to read. Involve your child in the process of gathering books based on his or her interest in topics, genres, series, or authors. Make the process of gathering books part of your routine as well. Go to the public library together on a regular basis to look for books to support your child's reading interests. The fifth essential element is talk. Talk to your child about what he or she is reading. Use prompts to begin a conversation with your child. For stories or fiction, you might ask questions like, what's your favorite part? Who is your favorite character? Or what do you think will happen next? For informational books or articles, you might ask questions like, what surprised you? What did you learn? What was the most interesting part? The important thing is to try to have authentic conversations with your child that support comprehension and engagement with the text he or she is reading. There are five essential elements that support establishing reading routines at home. They are time, space, books, choice, and talk. So what's the best way to get started? Involve your child in the process of making plans for a reading routine. Have a family meeting and make decisions together, and most importantly, make reading together joyful. Find some books and start reading.